really get to sleep. What am I going to do, Zoe? Um, hot milk and a sedative should do the trick. About Tara. What's she going to say when she finds out I've lost her car? I shouldn't think she's going to be happy. I can't go to the police, can I? Not with my record. I'll try and make out I nicked it myself. Well, maybe you turn up. I'm talking about 50 grand's worth of car here, not a flaming tabby. I should never have taken it to the club. If I find out who's nicked it, they're dead meat. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, you're not taking this very seriously. I am. This must be terrible for you. You could lose your job, poor thing. I'll have to go and see Tara and come clean. Do you think she'll understand? Would you in her position? Can I borrow your car? Of course. As long as you promise not to lose it. That's not funny. Look, I'll pay you double time and I'll give you a lift home when we're finished. Yeah, thanks. Right, I'll see you at work. OK, bye. Double time for what? We need to work late tonight. Again? There's still a lot to be done to get our safety procedures watertight. Look what happened the last time I cut corners. Sean, the bus crash wasn't your fault. It was. I've been thinking about this. I mean, we've all got wrapped up with blame and counter-blame, but the simple truth is I am responsible for vehicle maintenance. It's up to me to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Get home as quick as you can, yeah? Are you all right? This house feels so empty when it's just me. You'll be fine, big girl like you. <laughs> if you get lonely, there's always the dingles for company. I'll see you when I see you. See ya. Never, ever drinking again. And when I say ever, I mean never, and I mean it. I'm not touching another drop till at least next Friday. Yeah, it was a good night, though. It was. It was interesting. I bet it's the first time you've been shot up by a bloke, though. Yeah, and the last, I hope. <laughs> uh, Jason, you really embarrassed me last night when you were chasing after Adam. I didn't mind. I think you did. I reckon deep down he quite enjoyed the attention. Did you see the way he was looking at me? Are you starting work today? I'm sorry, I'm just coming now. What's up with him? He reckons you used to come to my advances. Right. And you did tell him that I didn't. Want to spoil all the fun? Good point. Thanks for last night, Jason. It was quite an experience. Hmm, wasn't it? We must do it again sometime. Well, you know where I am. Mm. What a guy, eh? See you, Ned. Come back soon, eh? Yeah, I'll do that, love. She's not a bad kid, really. Well, you've changed your tune. She's changed hers. I'm glad things are working out between you. No, I really am. I'm proud of the way you stuck to your guns. Ah, uh, well, stubbornness runs in the family. I suppose you've got a new family now. I can't say that I envy you, though. <laughs> that Viv Windsor gives mother-in-laws a bad name. <laughs> yeah, you kind of get used to it. But you don't have to. You and Kelly are always welcome to join us in Ibiza. I know a bloke with a bar. Could use a reliable lad like you. Yeah, let's not push his luck, eh? You and Kelly got on all right for a couple of days. We all know what'd be happening if we were all living together. I'm sure we'll get used to each other. Nah, my home's here. Besides, it's not just Kelly, it's little Donna as well. I, I kind of feel responsible for her. It's like I've lost one fan there. Not when I lose another. Your decision. Cheers, anyway. Right. I'll see you. I'll see you later, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! You still look for revenge? Maybe. Good. Cos tonight's a night. What night? That Tate Hawley's gets an unfriendly visit. What are we gonna do? Leave the thinking to me. We're not gonna do anything mad, are we? Listen to yourself. 
They're the mad ones. They need to learn you don't mess with dingles. They haven't learned the easy way, have they? Suppose not. So, now it's time for the hard way. And the haulage yard is the perfect place to start. Start what? Nothing. What do you want with the haulage yard? You shouldn't neb in on other people's conversations. I was just explaining to Dumboy here the difference between a lorry and a truck. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes I marvel at how thick you really are. Don't pick on Sam. I can pick on you if you prefer. Leave her alone. Ooh, big man. Thanks. What for? For looking out for me. You've been great since Butch. I know I don't always show me appreciation, but thanks. It's cos I like you. I like you too. <laughs> Need a hand? Angie, what brings you up here? Stay off. Nothing better to do. I never refuse free labour. <laughs> How's my lad doing? Oh, he's keen enough. I'm not sure the farming's in his blood. I know it isn't. I thought if I spend some time with him, I might be able to persuade him to come home. You don't mind, do you? No, not at all. He's a bright lad. He should be thinking about college. Oh. What's she doing here? <laughs> he loves me, really. Your mother's offered to help. We've got a lot on today. I've been checking up on me my life. I'm your mother. I want to spend time with you. Well, that's five minutes. It's man's work, isn't it, Jack? Hey, leave me out of it. Look, I know I'm just a weak and feeble woman, but... I'm prepared to give it a go if Jack will have me. Well, you can start by giving Mark a hand. Come on, then. Let's get cracking. Partner. No, no, I cannot hold... Hello? You're late. Yes, all right. You look frightful. Anything the matter? Well, since you mention it... Well, this better not be bad news. I'm not having the best of mornings. Oh, you came back, did you? No, no, you listen. No, I'm not the slightest bit interested in your problems. Either you provide the service I pay for or I take my business elsewhere. I am not a woman who takes kindly to being let down. Goodbye. You were saying. Was I? Oh, whatever it is, we can talk in the car. I'm in the mood for a trip to Leeds this morning. Look, Tara, there's no easy way of saying this. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Don't know. Go and find out. Surprise, surprise. Where did you find it? I can't reveal my sources. It was you. You nicked it, didn't you? Zoe, what brings you here? You mean Frankie hasn't told you? She's so forgetful sometimes. I have some papers I need you to look at, the stud. All right, come on in. Fifteen, love. <laughs> Just the person. <laughs> Mr. Pollard, I need you to help me with these. I ain't got time for that. What? Uh, you, you know I said I'd deliver them brasses this evening. I ain't got time for that either. Sam, I don't pay you not to do things. I'll deliver him tomorrow, I promise. Tomorrow won't do, you useless lump of... Oi! That's my cousin you're insulting. Well, you've got a good excuse. Tomorrow will do. Come on, Sam. Sorry, Mr Pollard. Here you go, Grandad. But you're not to open it until the big day, though. Well, thank you, Trisha. Here, just think. you would be able to travel cheap on buses now. Being old does have its compensations. Uh, these days, I'm not so sure that 65 is old. I'm sorry I won't be here to help you celebrate. Never you mind. You go and enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Oh, Trisha! Oh, sorry. 
must have half a dozen bikinis in here. Ten, to be precise. Why on earth should you need ten bathing costumes? Variety is the spice of life. I bet you don't wear half of them. Well, not the top half, anyway. What? I hope you're not going to flaunt yourself. Grandad, I'm going to a beach. I can hardly sit there in a woolly cardigan, can I? Tricia, I'm sorry. But this one definitely stays at home. Oh, this is not for me. It's for Marlon. Only don't tell him, because I want it to be a surprise. I'm sure it will be. Oh, Marlon, a word. Disappointed in you. Trisha's flight leaves in four hours, and you obviously haven't told her that she might not be going. How can I? Look at her, Bernice. She's so excited about this holiday. I can't bear to be another in a long line of blokes who've let her down. So you've found me a replacement chef and barmaid, have you? I was hoping you'd find it no, in I'm your... I'm sorry, Marlon, but I run a business. Now, Trisha may be my friend, but she's also my employee, as are you. And unless you find someone to cover your duties, the pair of you are going nowhere. I've been thinking, right, how can I fly off to sunny Spain with a clear conscience? And then it came to me. Bing! What Bernice needs while I'm away, right, is a substitute chef of, of <coughs> equal calibre to myself. Equal? Or possibly even on occasions, better. Why should he do you any favours after the way you've treated him? Betty! Be Betty, Betty, you're not helping. So, basically, you want to steal my chef? Only in the evenings. You're free in the evenings. What do you reckon? Well, technically, the Wolfpack is our rival. Oh, but Bernice is your best mate. Come on, you two. Not for me. Do this for Trisha. Do, do it to beg. I'm, I'm begging. I won't... <laughs> Please. <laughs> for heaven's sake, Marlon. Of course I'll do your shifts for you, Wally. Why didn't you ask me sooner? No. <laughs> right, I'd better get off into one for some holy things. Oh, you haven't got time for that. Well, I've got to pack some beachwear, don't I? You haven't packed yet. Well, will you two stop trying to panic me? Everything's in hand. Yeah, well, who's standing in for Trisha? Jason. Jason? <laughs> <laughs> he really does push his luck that mile on, doesn't he? <laughs> you should have seen Frankie's face when she saw Tara's car. I wish I had a camera. Oh, what are you talking about? Have you found the car? She stole it. Zoe? Well, Frank is always saying I should be more responsible. And besides, from what I've heard, I'd say that Adam and Jason were the real wind-up merchants around here. <laughs> what? Hang on, hang on. So, you, are you telling me that you and Jason aren't really interested? Yeah. No. Talking of which. Yeah, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Could have lost my job because of you. You're not clever, you're just a big kid. Ooh. We were just having a laugh. No hard feelings. Of course not. You know what they say don't get mad, get even. Is that a promise? I can't wait. I can. I'm going to get you when you least expect it. This is really good of you, Roy. Uh, are you sure you don't want me to pay your rent? I'll be daft. I shall be paying you. I better learn a lot watching an expert at work. <laughs> well, I wouldn't call myself an expert. Besides, you've already forked out 500 quid for what is, let's face it, a big heap of rust. Ah, but that's the challenge. Restoring something that's old and battered to its former splendour. Right. Here it is. I still think you bar me. I can't tell you how long I've wanted to own a Dalesman Roadster. I, I used to dream of taking Patricia Alcock out on one of these. Oh? oh she was a cinema usherette. She had this great passion for motorcycles. I, I, I was quite smitten with her. <laughs> but alas, my chum Brian whisked her away on his motorised cycle. Right, well, I'd better get back to Laurel and Hardy. Who? Oh? oh, Mark and Angie. They're helping me out on the farm. They're less than useless at farming, but very entertaining. <laughs> Thanks for this, Jack. Oh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Come on, I'll give you a hand getting it off. I'm gonna miss the flight. Now, Trisha, there's something you should know. I want you to be brave about this. Are you saying he ain't coming? Marlon wouldn't stand me up. Well, not intentionally, I'm sure. <sighs> I've been dreaming of going away for ages. I thought Marlon was someone I could rely on. Trisha, hold the tears. What? Hi. Marlon, where you been? We're gonna miss the flight. Bags of time. Bernice, let me introduce you to your new chef for the next couple of weeks. 
If that's all right with you. Oh, I don't know. Employing a rival. Oh, we've already milked that one. <sighs> right, what am I standing here for? Shouldn't Alan be here to see you off? Oh, he's busy giving his motorbike a cuddle. Well, you enjoy yourself, Tricia. I will, and good luck with the parish party. Oh, don't remind me. I'm never going to get them cucumber sarnies ready. I mean, formally announcing the engagement, silly. Oh. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> well, have fun. We will. I'll bring you back a straw donkey. <laughs> don't feel you have to. <laughs> Remember that phrase I taught you for the restaurant? Oh, how does it go again? Tiene patatas fritas. Meaning? Bring me your finest delicacy. Do you have any fritas? <laughs> Oi, doesn't that mean, do you have chips? Shh. Damn, do you think I need a passport? Marlon! Who are we kidding? <laughs> Marlon, who's my barmaid while Trisha's away? Jason! <laughs> See ya! Can't say I've noticed any great improvements since you were elected onto the council. Don't worry. Plans are afoot. Such as? You know, when the time's right. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pollard. I thought you and Sam were off to Connelton this evening. Ah, uh, so did I, until that awful chap Kane stuck his oar in. What's Sam doing with Kane? You tell me. They're as thick as thieves all day, and there are no prizes given for which one's thick and which one's a thief. You all right, Emily? No, I, I don't think I am, Mrs Windsor. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go. Oh, Emily! Well, thank you, Eric. First you nicked me seat on the council, and now you drive my staff away. Huh. Well, <laughs> I like to do my bit. Right, then. Back to storing the silage. Or we could call it a day. <laughs> Let's. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Are either of you hungry? Yeah, I'm starving. Uh, best come up to the house then. You both earned a good feed. <laughs> you remember what I said about there being worse things than working on the farm? Yeah. Well, I was lying. Oh, now it tells me. <laughs> I've really appreciated your help today. That's all right, as long as I get my bonus. You can buy me a well done drink if you like. Oh, sorry. I've got to come back here when I've dropped you off. Plan for punishment, ain't you? Things have got to be put right, Kelly. At last. Wonder what them two have been up to. Why'd they be up to help? The boss and his secretary. Where have you been all your life? Prison. With that. I don't know why I have to carry it. I'm carrying the matches. Nah. You first. Why me? You stop questioning everything and you just do it. Sometimes something seems like a good idea, only it's not. Stop being a waz. They might with us. We want them to know. We'll not prove anything. They might. We're doing this for Butch. Remember? You were brother. Do you just want to abandon him like everyone else? Of course not. So start acting like a dingle then. Oh, come on, you swine! I can do locks. Well, why didn't you say? You didn't ask. Right then. Let's do some damage. Bring the petrol.
feels nice. Mm, I thought I'd do is a nice bit of rabbit. Well, it's okay. Lamb chops. Mm, you spoil me, you day. Mm, cheers for making an effort, my dad, babes. I can be nice when I want to be. Mm, how nice are you going to be tonight? Mm, I don't know. You'll have to feed me first. Come here. Mm. What are you looking for? Anything worth taking. There must be a safe in here somewhere. Don't just stand there. Make yourself useful. Right. No, not yet. What? I'll tell you when to do the petrol. One straight spark and we'll both go up in flames. Idiot. I wish I hadn't come now. Yeah, it makes two of us. It's okay. That's good. That's very good. Hello? Who's there? What the hell are you up to? Coming, Sam. You'll kill him. I don't want this. Get out of my way. Don't, Kane. You just get. It's your problem now. Don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Sam, what have you done?